Hey guys, and welcome to episode 8 of series 4 of my daily movie reviews, the 98th overall episode. And now we're going into the Roger Moore era of James Bond. So yes, we go ahead to 1973, when Roger Moore starred in the first of the seven films he made his appearances as James Bond. Live and let die. Here's a brief synopsis for you now. Three MI6 agents, including one on loan to the American government, are killed within 24 hours under mysterious circumstances while monitoring the operations of Dr. Kananga the dictator of a small Caribbean island, San Monique. James Bond, Agent 007, is sent to New York to investigate the first murder. Kananga is also in New York, visiting the United Nations. Just after Bond arrives, his driver is shot dead by a passing motorist, while taking Bond to meet Felix later of the CIA, Bond is nearly killed in the ensuing car crash. A trace on the killer's license plate eventually leads Bond to Mr. Big, a ruthless gangster who runs a chain of Field of Soul restaurants throughout the United States. It is here that Bond first actually uh, sorry, actually Bond meets Solitaire, a beautiful virgin tarot expert who has the ability to see both the future and remote events in the present. Mr Big, who is actually Kananga in disguise, demands that his henchmen kill Bond but Bond overpowers them and escapes unscathed. Bond flies to San Monique, where he meets Rosie Carver, a CIA double agent. They meet up with a friend of Bond's, Quarrel Jr., who takes them by boat to Solitaire's home. Okay, now, without giving much of the film away, that's your brief synopsis, guys. Hope you found it insightful. And I think it's a brilliant story. An excellent first outing for Roger Moore as James Bond. So I give it a 10 out of 10. Join me again tomorrow as we jump ahead to 1974 to have a look at Roger Moore's second outing as James Bond in The Man with the Golden Gun. Until then, this is Barrett, James Barrett, signing off.